Hey guys, uh, just uh, in the garage here. I'm uh, just want to show you there that beaver that I shot on my last video there. Uh, I uh, I started tanning it, so uh, I'll just show you a little the process there. I'm using Sask Hunting's. Uh, I'm using his uh, recipe with the it's a pickle uh, tanning thing and. It was the big beautiful beaver, I don't know, probably about 60 some pounds and I thought well I want to build a hat this year and uh, and uh, I held back, uh, you can see over there I got, I got to, uh, I held back my foxes and I got a uh, coyote that I skinned that's, uh, that's got the mite on the back there, you can see and, and I want to tan these ones up also and uh, so anyways what I uh, every day I got to uh, come and uh, turn the uh, and stir up the uh, pickling solution for my uh, my beaver tan here. So so I'll let you guys have a look. So as you guys can see, it's looking very nice. So I put my uh, I had a one weasel I caught there too. So got it in the solution. But uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Actually, looking really dandy. So, so yeah, every day is what I do is I come in and I uh, I uh, move it around like you're supposed to, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna give it about five days. I think I'm on day day uh, three. So we'll do it about uh, five days. So I'll give it till probably a couple more days yet. And I think we should be good. I'll take it out and rinse her out. And I'm gonna keep this solution, like I said, for my uh, for the coyote and the foxes there. I wanna do a couple of those. So foxes, I'm just uh, probably going to, uh, probably gonna just do a, uh, I'm gonna finish them on uh, the stretcher after and use them as wall hangers I believe so I don't know guys are getting what 15 18 dollars for them when you send them away if that and lots of them aren't being sold so I ain't even bothering right so I'm just gonna do them up and I think I'm gonna send each one to the kids and uh, and then hang one up at the farm too so anyways I just thought I'd show you that guys and uh, as I progress I will uh, show you a little bit more of it and and start drying it out and I think the next is to start uh, I gotta neutralize it, and then uh, then we gotta start uh, drying it and uh, neat's feed oil, and uh, then start breaking in the hide. So, okay. So as it goes, I'll uh, play a little bit more. Hey guys, uh, just uh, show, thought I'd show you some progress on our uh, on my tanning. I uh, did three foxes. Uh, actually four foxes one coyote and a beaver so uh, I'm just in different stages of the uh, tanning so I'll show you the beaver over here first so uh, here we have the beaver turned out pretty good it's totally white uh, it's uh, fairly soft I want to work it a little bit more and uh, get it into a stage there's a few hangers here and there the fur looks good uh, I got it all uh, conditioned up or whatever I want to make a hat something like a hat or something there and as we uh, get into more of the preparated fur then I will uh, decide what we're gonna do so so yeah it's turned out all white nice looking good so uh, here's the uh, foxes I got uh, three foxes here and then a coyote and a fox in the pickle solution. They just started here. So uh, they're in, in there. So, so uh, they're all uh, got the tan. Uh, what I'm going to do with these uh, three here, or I'm going to uh, one for each of our uh, kids. They're uh, going to get tanned and then uh, used as wall hangers. The uh, Foxes are worth you know 15 to 18 dollars or what have you to me. They're uh, not worth sending into auction. So 
So I'm just going to clean them up and uh, tan them up and then they're going to go for wall hangers. So uh, we'll go from there. So as things start to progress, I'll, uh, I will uh, give, you, uh, give you some more video on it. So. But anyways, to show you is, uh, what it is, uh, the, like I said, this beaver, I was actually surprised it turned out very good. So all nice and white. I'm going to soften the fur and work it here and uh, get into the stage. I want to do a hat. I uh, believe it's the first stage in. And who knows, maybe I might try to get a glove. My uh, wife, Darlene, she bought a uh, uh, lady's book off of Amazon. And uh, she's, uh, that's the, uh, what we're going to use for patterns and sewing stuff. She's got anywhere from uh, uh, mucklucks to, uh, to, uh, sh to, uh, mitts to hats to everything so so anyways i'm going to uh we're going to see as uh what we need as uh we get more preparated first so and i got the casters hanging here they're just about dried out those are from the beavers beaver that we got on the uh the uh boat hunt so anyways guys we'll uh let you be and uh as everything keeps on going I'm going to make a little more video and show you guys. So, Okay, take care. See you guys later. Hey guys, uh, I want to get into the video here with the uh, tanning. So uh, I want to show you guys uh, some of my end results and uh, how everything's turning out. So uh, we'll start with the uh, beaver here. I, uh, there was that big beaver I shot on one of my videos not too long ago. Uh, this is it here. Turned out really good. Uh, anybody's got any tips to make it softer? I do notice that they are hard and crinkly. I've been working it. I don't think it's going to get a whole lot better. Uh, I've been doing some other stuff to make it. I think I'm going to go with uh, making a pair of, pair of mitts out of it. Uh, I don't have a perfect oval, but I don't think it really much matters for making mitts. So that's going to be this beaver. It's nice and soft when you get into the lighter uh, in here. And and uh, here's uh, where I make my pickle brine. Guys, what I've been doing too is uh, I've been leaving them up to five days in the pickle brine. It seems to work out good. Uh, here's one of the foxes out of the four. I have four foxes. Uh, you can see, here's a little rip there. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, they're just soft, pliable. Don't pull on foxes too hard because you will rip them. You can ask my wife, uh, she gets mad at sewing them up from me. So, uh, see there, so. Uh, they're all wall hangers. These are uh, going to, uh, going to uh, my kids. Uh, they're each getting one. And one is uh, going to, uh, to, uh, to us and the other ones are going to uh, one's going to a friend so so uh, I never sent them to uh, to auction they're not worth nothing right so why do it when they're uh, really not worth nothing so and uh, after you're done they're just beautiful they're really really nice so and like I said they're they're gonna be wall hangers and they're all nice and as you can see inside they're all beautifully tanned and uh, just lovely so I think that uh, uh, on to something. I really like the the, uh, the tanning process. My last ones are here. Uh, and one more fox right here is taking place, and there's a coyote with the uh, rub on it. The uh, not the rub, the uh, uh, shoulder mite. So uh, that's that one. And that one after we're all said and done, that. Uh, I will uh, show you the outsides of those ones uh, when they're done. Uh, this one here we're going to try to make a hat out of. And this is going to be another wall hanger fox. So uh, one thing I do do that other guys don't do. Like I used Sask Hunting's recipe on the uh, internet. Is what I do is I soak them in the Neats Feed oil. Which is right there. And I, I double do it. I do it once and then I just about let it dry and then I do it again and it seems to be very good doing that so i put them back on the board and uh they're uh i think they're yeah still a little bit uh 
yet so I'll give them another day or so and the thing is is, is they don't hold after you take them off the stretcher because I have them on the stretcher you'd think well they kind of hold that form or whatever but they actually take the natural form of how they're skinned so just like these uh, foxes so so anyways guys it's all turning out good I uh, I really like this tanning stuff and uh, you know it's it's more or less a waiting game so uh, you know it's the, the biggest thing is just to wait so uh, it, it uh, you know five days here in the brine and and then a couple more days for drying and then after that it's working the leather and like I said those foxes is very easy to break it in and uh, you just grab with your hand and it turns white and I'll see when I do the coyote here uh, if I can catch a little bit of video of it and uh, and do that so and uh, cool I I'd, uh, anybody I'd you know give it a whirl it's great stuff it's fun, it's uh, pride when you're done, these animals are the ones you caught, so it uh, kind of makes you, uh, got a lot of pride in it, so. Okay guys, uh, tell next thing and leave comments and get out in the outdoors and have some fun. And uh, that's what it's all about, right? So uh, uh, go from there and any kind of updates or whatever, I'll pass them on by. See you later. Hey guys, uh, just doing a little work and uh, on the tanned hides here and uh, getting to the end here I'll show you a little thing I've been doing I don't know if it's the right or the wrong answer but uh, seems to work uh, for me kind of a little trick I guess uh, this is that coyote the one with the patch that is kind of missing on his back there that I want to use for a hat so uh, what I uh, do is I use my bastard cut wood file and you can see how the there's some darkness in here and that's pretty much the area where he's lost some hair so I don't know if it's because of the uh, mite or what have you but anyways I just show you a little trick that I do I just use the bastard cut file and it uh, loosens up the hide and it works really well scrapes all the uh, loose kind of stuff off if you can see and I also used it on my beaver and it works uh, really well as you can see it's kind of this beaver softening up really good so just thought I'd uh, point that out to you guys uh, like I said don't know if it's a right or uh, wrong so but it seems to work so okay check in with you later okay guys I uh, was just uh, showing you about the uh, that bastard uh, wood bastard cut file that I used to scratch on the hide and uh, get the remainder of you know it could be a little bit of fleshings that I missed or what have you but it turns out well but anyways I'm gonna show you how I uh, I went and uh, I uh, turned this hide around and actually this is uh, after it's washed and this it's washed many times through the process of uh, of tanning I just left the head down in here you guys it's uh, I'm gonna turn them back over. Here's that spot right here if you can just kind of notice in between my fingers where it's uh, the hair loss is and uh, but this is a f actually a fine looking coyote here it's nice white underbelly and I'm probably gonna let them dry overnight here give them a flip there and uh, let them dry let hair dry out a little bit uh, overnight and uh, then I'm gonna probably flip them back hide out uh, I mean uh, leather out and uh, probably work the hide a little bit more I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, and stuff and then uh, this will be a fully tanned uh, coyote so yeah all in all it's uh, turning out well so uh, when I'm all said and done I'll uh, kind of have a fully uh, tanned up uh, set here foxes one coyote and kind of enjoyed it overall it's uh, kind of neat to uh, to do, and uh, and you know at the end of the day you get a really nice coyote. So you're looking uh, looking there. It's all pretty well tanned up. So a little more uh, on the uh, part with uh, you know conditioning the hide or whatever. But uh, uh, other than that, uh, it's pretty fun kind of stuff to do. Okay, we'll talk to you later, guys.